Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Mary Nelson. We begin with a transfusion, unlike what most of us have ever heard of. A kitten at the Nebraska Humane Society would have died if it weren't for a Siberian Husky's blood. 3 News Now reporter Aaron Hegarty met the duo today. This little kitten here is Thorn. He's four weeks old and had a scary Sunday into Monday, but luckily he's doing well now because of blood from a dog. It's not a figure of speech. This kitty has the blood of a husky. This baby would have died overnight if we hadn't given him blood. Dr. Katie James says Thorn came in Sunday with his two brothers as strays, covered in fleas, bitten so many times he'd become anemic, low on blood, in very bad shape. Like face planting into his kennel and mouth full of litter. There wasn't enough time to find a matching cat blood type, so they used a dog's, which is much less risky. I think I terrified a couple other people when I said, yeah, let's get a dog to transfuse into a cat, but clearly it worked. Thorn will only have dog blood for a little bit. His immune cells are building up, his, his dog blood cells are going down, but his normal cat blood cells are also increasing. And this is our Siberian hero, Mr. Brett Michaels. A donor is covering his adoption fee and he's still looking for a new home. Brett's name is where the kitty's new name, Thorn, comes from. The song, Every Rose Has Its Thorn. The six-year-old is unique in his own way. We got him to sit still long enough to show off his eyes. One is blue and the other is brown. And apparently he shares some traits with the kitten he helped save. We joked that he is as active as he is and as um, hungry as he is because he has some Siberian Husky blood in him now. <laughs> and for the vet techs, a rewarding moment. There's definitely very hard days um, with lots of tough cases. Um, Hannah is very new here for us, but yeah. um, I'm sure you can agree too that oh, it's... Oh, for sure. This makes it worthwhile. Oh, yes. <laughs> At the Nebraska Humane Society, Aaron Hagerty, 3 News Now. The Humane Society says Brett Michaels, the dog, plays well with other dogs. And I'll remind you what Aaron said. He is available for adoption right now, but the kittens won't be ready for another four weeks.